Hello everyone, welcome you all to British Literature Subject Unit 5 video. So Unit 5 in nutshell, the first topic Captain Walton's Conclusion. So this is the chapter taken from Frankenstein. It was written by Mary Shelley. So we all know Mary Shelley, she is the daughter of Mary Wollstonecraft and her lifetime is 1797 to 1851. Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus is an 1818 novel. Actually, it is a novel. So, the Captain Walton's conclusion is taken from this novel. So, this novel tells the story of Victor Frankenstein, a young scientist. He created a sapient creature in an unorthodox scientific experiment. And this fellow, it is a frame story written in epistolary form in 18th century. Robert Walton. So, Walton conclusion, no, that is Walton refers to the character Robert Walton. He is a polar explorer who meets Victor Frankenstein in the Arctic. It is to Walton that Victor tells his story and he in return writes the narrative down in a series of letters to his sister Margaret Seville back in England. So, that this novel is called as epistolary novel which means uh, at the end of the point I have given, the, all the stories are narrated in the series of letter and he hand over to the sister. And next one, Gulliver's Travel written by Jonathan Swift and Jonathan Swift, uh, his lifetime is 1667 to 1745. He was an Anglo-Irish satirist, author, essayist, political pamphleter. First he was joined in wings and then he was uh, changed to tourist and also a poet. His famous works are A Tale of a Tub, published in 1704, An Argument Against Abolishing Christianity, 1712, Gulliver's Travel, 1726, and A Modest Proposal, 1729. And the pseudonym he used uh, Lamuel Gulliver, Isaac Bickerstaff, and Drapier, or some other works he published anonymously. So, two styles of satire, the oration and the juvenile style that he followed in his works. And in the Gulliver's travel, we have a voyage to Lilliput and a voyage to Leputa. So, Gulliver's travel, the, the, the work full title is Travel into Several Remote Nations of the World in Four Parts by Lamuel Gulliver. Lamuel Gulliver, uh, that is the pseudonym he used that we discussed in the previous slide. First as a surgeon and then a captain of several ships is 1726 pro satire. And we have three parts in Gulliver's Travel. Part, part 1, A Voyage to Lilliput that is taken place from 4th May 1699 to 13 April 1702. And part 2, A Voyage to Brobidden Gang, 20th June 1702 to uh, 3rd June 1706. And part 3, A Voyage to Leputa, Balnebrabri, Lagunesh and Glubra Drip and Japan, 1706 to 1710. So, part 4, A Voyage to the Land of Hoanim, 7th September 1710, 5th December 1715. So, it is four parts. And uh, we have part 1, A Voyage to Lilliput. So, Lilliput, uh, when he visited that place, the people seems they are like 6 inches, only they are 15 centimeter who are inhabitants of the island country of Lilliput. So, simply they are called as Lilliputians. And part 4, Land of Hohonims, a race of talking horses. So, in the land, the horses are talking. They are the ruler with the deformed creatures that resemble human beings are called Yahoos. So, these are all the pictures. Uh, I have uh, uh, just uh, uh, you know scribbled on the PPT. So, your voyage to Lilliput. See, you could see the uh, small, small creatures when the character is lying down. That is Lilliput. And here the horse is uh, near the pond. The horse is talking. So, that is um, uh, Hohonims. And a tale of two cities, Charles Dickens, a famous historical novel. Charles Dickens' full name is Charles John Ufam Dickens. His lifespan is 1812 to 1870. And he is a Victorian novelist. And this is an historical novel in 1859. A tale of two cities. A tale which means a story. Uh, two cities here refers to London and Paris. So, it narrated a story that has happened between London and Paris. And this story is based on French Revolution. And the best works of Charles Dickens, the Pickwick Papers, Oliver Twist, uh, Nicholas Nickel by Great Expectations and David Copperfield. David Copperfield, uh, that is Charles Dickens' autobiographical work. 
In this tale of two cities, we have three books. The first two book is Recall to Life, and second book, The Golden Thread, and the third book, The Track of a Straw. We have the first book in our syllabus, Recall to Life. How Doctor Manet? Uh, he is being recalled to life because. Uh, Uh, he is in the prison for eighteen years of Bastille. How he was recalled uh, to London and how he was bringing back. That is uh, uh, elaborately discussed in book one. So it is titled as Recall to Life. And the opening line of a tale of two cities is, "It was the best of times. It was it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the age of epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity." It was the season of light it was the season of darkness it was the spring of hope it was the winter of despair so at the end of this novel how sydney cotton uh, uh, he was died and he sacrificed his life all those things are, are beautifully described in this novel a tale of two cities that's all thank you so much hope you all like the videos and hope you all understand about this unit 5 thank you